Now let's look at graphing y equals a b to the x. Now there's a variety of methods of doing this and the way that I do it is first I memorize four basic forms. So the first problem that let's look at is let's look at y is equal to a b to the x when a is positive and b greater than 1. This is a class classic exponential growth problem. If we think about what the graph looks like there, the initial value here is going to be a, in this case a positive number, and as you start from here at a, that's x is equal to 0 and y is equal to a, as x increases, y grows exponentially. And as x decreases, y decreases but less and less until it reaches an asymptote or until it approaches an asymptote. And here you have an asymptote, y is equal to zero. And this is the classic exponential growth problem. And if we can look at an example real quick, you have y is equal to 3 times 2 to the x. We can just do a table of values, x and y, 0, 2, 4, minus 2, minus 4. Here we have 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, 3 times 1 is 3. That's the initial value, we knew that. 2, 2 squared is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Let's make sure we did that right. 2 squared is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. And 4, 2 to the 4 is 2 times 2, times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 16. That's 48. And if you notice, that matches what our graph looks like here. This would be 0, 3, 2, 12, 4, 48. As we go in a negative direction, 2 to the minus 2 is equal to 1 over 2 squared or 1 fourth, so that's simply 3 fourths. Here's to the minus 4. 2 to the minus 4 is 1 over, that's 2, 4, 8, 16, so that's 3 over 16. So you, if you notice, you get a graph that roughly looks like that, which is just what we saw before. Now let's again start with y equals a b to the x, but now let a be positive and b be between 0 and 1. This is your classic exponential decay problem. And that looks very similar except for as x goes in a positive direction, y will decay rather than grow, and hence the name, exponential decay. In this case, your initial value, value again is a. That's 0, comma a. You still have an asymptote at y equals 0, just like you did before. But now, as you start at 0, a, and go x increases, then you approach y equals 0 asymptotically. And as you go, x goes in a negative direction, it increases. So you have a function that roughly looks like that. So here we see the difference between exponential growth and decay problems. Exponential growth and exponential decay. And an example of an exponential decay problem would be y is equal to 10, 0 0.75 to the x. In this case, 10 would be the initial value. And 0.75, since it's less than 1, says that it's an exponential decay problem. So now we can look at all four problems together. We have y is equal to a, b to the x. So when a is positive, you either have exponential growth or decay. If a is positive, if b is greater than 1, then you have a graph that looks like this.
and if B is between 0 and 1, you have a graph that looks like this. And you see some certain similarities. The initial value in both cases are 1, and the asymptote in both cases are y equals 0. So now the question is, what happens when A is negative? If A is negative, then the graph is going to look exactly like this graph, except for it's going to be a reflection across the x-axis. And if you have y is equal to AB dx and B is between 0 and 1 as A is negative, you have exactly the same graph as this, except for it's a reflection. So we can start to see all four together, and we'll look at these two differently. In this case, the initial value still is still A, but in this case, A is a negative number. And you have a graph that looks like this. Do you see how this is simply this graph, but it's reflected across the x-axis? Then when A is negative and it's exponential to K, you start A is still the initial value, and A again is negative in this case. You approach the asymptote, y equals 0 from this direction. X goes in this direction. So what you have here is you have four different problems. This is called exponential growth. This is exponential decay. If you wanted to, you could call this exponential growth flipped and exponential decay flipped. So let's look at these two problems individually y is equal to a b to the x a is positive I'm sorry a is negative b is greater than 1 this is an exponential growth problem since b is greater than 1 but a starts out negative so here's your initial value starts out 0a. It grows exponentially, so if a negative number grows exponentially, it becomes ever more negative. And when it goes and then x becomes a negative number, it decreases. And the asymptote stays the same. If you know the asymptote and all four of these examples are the same, it's y equals 0. And the fourth graph y is equal to a, b to the x. a is negative, b is between 0 and 1. This is, it's an exponential decay problem, but it's an exponential decay problem that has been flipped across the x-axis. So in that case, the initial value again is a. It is a negative value, and it, de de it decays, declines, exponential declines, or decreases, so it becomes less and less negative. Any other direction more positive. The asymptote is the same. Y is equal to 0. And this value here is 0, A. And those are the four forms of the graph.